Hello football fans, we have some big news for you stay tuned. Reportedly, Marcus Rashford, the forward for Manchester United, was seen partying at a Belfast nightclub the night before he claimed to be too unwell to attend training. Red Devils manager Eric Ten Hag confirmed on Friday that Rashford, along with Johnny Evans, had missed training due to illness, stating, this morning, Rashford was ill and Johnny Evans was ill so we have to see how they recover. However, sources from The Athletic revealed that Rashford was present in a Belfast nightclub the evening before he was scheduled to attend a training session for the club. Although United was aware of his presence in the Northern Irish capital on Wednesday night, it has been confirmed that he was also there the following evening, just hours before reporting unwell. He allegedly returned to Manchester on a private jet on Friday morning. The report states that video footage of Rashford's night out emerged, with United claiming that the images were from Wednesday night, which was supposedly a scheduled day off for the first-team squad. Rashford was also photographed at another Belfast venue, Lavery's Bar, on Wednesday. Multiple sources have since confirmed that he spent both nights celebrating in the Northern Irish capital, attending Thompson's on Thursday. Despite the evidence, both Manchester United and Rashford's camp declined to comment when contacted by The Athletic. This incident follows a previous occurrence earlier in the season when Rashford was pictured in a nightclub on the evening of United's heavy Premier League defeat to Manchester City. Ten Hag addressed the issue back then, stating, I spoke with him about it. It's unacceptable. He apologized and that is it. For us, it's an internal matter. Ten Hag's handling of this situation will be closely watched, considering his no-nonsense approach in the past. An example of his philosophy is seen in the situation with Jadon Sancho, who recently rejoined Borussia Dortmund on loan until the end of the season after a falling out with Ten Hag over alleged lack of effort in training. Next we have another Man United player who has allegedly had a bust up with his new manager and team two weeks into his loan spell the player in question, Hannibal Midgbury. Fabrizio Romano has shared an update. Having secured just one Premier League start, Hannibal moved to Sevilla on loan earlier this month, with the La Liga club having an option to make the deal permanent in the summer for around £15 million. His debut for Sevilla, coming off the bench in a 5-1 defeat to Girona, did not impress manager Kike Sanchez Flores. Flores expressed his disappointment, stating that the loanee needs time to grasp the significance of playing for Sevilla and must understand the context of his new environment. The manager emphasized the need for Hannibal to take a step back, gain perspective, and then return to the squad. Addressing Flores' comments, Romano reported that there was tension in training between Hannibal and his new teammates at Sevilla, but the issues have been resolved. Romano clarified that there wasn't a specific incident, and Hannibal spoke directly to the manager to settle the situation. Despite the initial challenges, Romano highlighted that everything is now resolved. However, the overall atmosphere at Sevilla is difficult due to their challenging season, currently sitting just one point above the relegation zone in La Liga. Lastly, Tottenham have been snubbed by a player who chose to join Brentford instead of them. A Tottenham Hotspur journalist has disclosed reasons why Antonio Nusa opted to sign for Brentford instead of joining Angie Postecoglou's team. Nusa, who has had a standout season with Club Bruges in the Belgian Pro League, attracted interest from Spurs after their recent signings of Timo Werner and Radu Draguzin. Despite being reported as front-runners for Nusa, Tottenham ultimately lost out to Brentford, who secured an agreement with Club Bruges for a fee exceeding €30 million, Euros, £25 million. Fabrizio Romano confirmed the deal, stating that Nusa would remain at Bruges until June before joining Brentford. In response to this development, Football London journalist Alastair Gold explained that Noosa chose Brentford because he was guaranteed regular starts with the club. Gold highlighted that, as a raw but talented teenager who hadn't been starting regularly for Club Bruges, Spurs couldn't offer the same assurances for regular playing time in the upcoming season with their current squad. Gold further noted that Noosa and his camp believed that making a move to one of the bigger clubs, like Tottenham, would be too significant a step in his development at this point. Despite missing out on Noosa, Gold acknowledged the player's talent and potential for reaching that level in the future. With the Noosa deal off the table, Gold hinted that Tottenham could now intensify their interest in Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher. There we have it some key stories from the weekend let us know in the comments which were your favourite.